Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Grams. We are on day 1893 of our trek, and it is time to explore another nugget of wisdom, which includes an inspirational quote, along with some wise words from Grams for today's trek. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. This is Gramps. Thanks for coming along on today's trek as we increase wisdom and create a living legacy. We are told in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16, How much better to get wisdom than gold and sound judgment than silver? If you apply the words that you hear today, over time, it will help you to become more healthy, wealthy, and wise as you continue on your daily trek of life. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. And today's quote is from William James, and it is, Acceptance of what has happened is the first step to overcoming the consequences of any misfortune. So today's nugget of wisdom is, Consequences of Misfortune. We all make mistakes and will fail many times in our lives. We could allow it to defeat us long term and negatively impact our lives, or we can accept what has happened, acknowledge where we fell short, and take necessary measures to do better the next time. Acceptance of defeat and setbacks are a sign of both wisdom and maturity. Without accepting our shortcomings, we will be mired in the consequences of previous actions and choices and will leave no room for improvement in the future. Therefore, in all decisions, choices, and actions, we must be willing to accept all the consequences of those decisions, choices, and actions. We are always free to choose, but not free from the consequences of our choices. Therefore, choose well and choose wisely. And our passage for today is Joshua chapter 24, verses 14 through 18. So fear the Lord and serve Him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worshipped when they lived along the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates? Or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now live? But for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. The people replied, We would never abandon the Lord and serve other gods. For the Lord our God is the one who rescued us and our ancestors from the slavery of the land of Egypt. He performed mighty miracles before our very eyes as we traveled through the wilderness among our enemies. He preserved us. It was the Lord who drove out the Amorites and the other nations living here in the land. So we too will serve the Lord, for He alone is our God. And as you ponder this nugget of wisdom for yourself, Please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,892 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And if you'd also like to receive our weekly newsletter called Wisdom Notes, please email me at guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, Learn continuously, then to others generously. Lead with integrity and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward. Enjoy your journey and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.